We the people, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty on ourselves and our posterity to ordain and establish this Constitution. Let's break that out a little bit. A more perfect union is an acknowledgement that we are not perfect, that the framers in the late 1700s recognized we as a society and as a country were not then perfect, and might never be, but that we would need to always change and adapt. And too often I see in Second Amendment arguments things that focus on a framer's intent. But that framer's intent in the very beginning of our Constitution acknowledged the living, breathing document that the Constitution needs to be in order to make sure that we are adapting and actually addressing our societal issues. The concept of domestic tranquility as an aspiration and as a goal, I think, stands in stark contrast to a presumption that someone needs offensive weapons, like an assault weapon, because that mere presumption is presuming that we won't have actual domestic tranquility, that we will always be in a state of conflict. And I think our framers wanted to get us to places where we weren't in states of conflict. Providing for the common defense means making sure everyone is safe, everyone is secure, allowing, again, offensive weapons. And I'll bring up Philadelphia, because in Philadelphia we know the difference between defense and offense, and we had some failures on both sides of the ball recently. <laughs> but the concept of a common defense presupposes doing it together, i.e. with the government or under some level of government control, and also that we will not provide offensive assault weapons. The concept of these weapons not being for defense is built into the wording and the identification of the weapon itself. Our general welfare, the blessings of liberty that we want to bestow on ourselves and our posterity. And I think here is where there is a lot of common ground. Um, I do appreciate uh, both my colleagues who spoke before, and I will acknowledge gentlemen from Franklin, and I have had some of these conversations, uh, even though I'm from Philadelphia. Um, but that concept of the blessings of liberty to our posterity, this is really about our children, it's about our kids, it's about our communities. And when we talk about making ourselves and our communities safer, we do have to find that balance between what makes some person safe, what might be fun for some folks, but frightening for others, and what is the goal of, again, that more perfect union that we aspire to, that we know we're not at. And for me, I come down on supporting a ban on offensive assault weapons, I'm seeking to respect the terrible, destructive power of those weapons. 
and recognize that for me and my community, having them out of that community makes us feel safer.